episode two of my PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. I haven't played since the last episode because Solo Mission put out a 250 mil bounty on his own PvP hardcore Iron Man, and I've been scared I'm going to get caught up in the crossfire of those hunting him. But it's time to man up. Here are the stats. It's time to make some progress. First goal: unlocking the bone crossbow. I see an Iron Man. We're gonna go for it. Oh god, nah, he's definitely gonna get in. I'm hitting nothing. Zero. Please be AFK or something. Nah, he's good, damn it. He even said all. I've just logged into Buy Wines. There's already another hardcore Iron Man scout sitting here, another level 3 scout sitting here. If I die buying wines, it is what it is, dude. Yep, there's a level 52. There's a level 52. Oh my god. Okay, we really have to be careful, don't we? Alright, level 52 goes coming for you, Ditter. And with the ego I have, I go, you're not doing shit. He drops a ha 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 and wishes me good luck. We'll see you later, sir. Oh my god, the scout's following me to this world. But what I can do is because I've got overheads, I can literally just pray range. I won't die to the Debo. I can buy jugs of wine like that. Now, before we carry on, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Raycon. Raycon earbuds are amazing. They come in this convenient small case, and the fact that they're wireless just makes them even greater. This little case can charge your earbuds four times without needing to be recharged itself. They're stylish, they're discreet, so if you're trying to impress someone on a Zoom call, these are the earbuds for you. They start at half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound the same, if not better, than any other top audio brand you know. They're great to use if you're working out, working from home, or just chilling listening to some music or a podcast. It also means you don't have to drive your roommates crazy with your loud-ass speakers. Their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet, with 6 hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. It also comes in new, fun colors, so it's a good choice for everyone. So click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash databitter to get 15% off your order. Three red berries achieved. Two onions. Two wood leaves. All right, a bunch of people south, but I just need my dyes right now. Um, yellow dye. Mix those. We get ourselves orange dye. Now we can do go do goblin diplomacy. Teleporting into Faldor once again. Oh my god, there's people. Holy fuck. Goblin diplomacy done. We can start the Lost Tribe after getting 17 mining, I think it is, but I want to go do Druidic Ritual and then Dig Site first. Every time I go past one of these house teleports, there's a chance that Sea Engineer is looking at me through the Skyrim, or the Skyrim portal, I don't know what you call it. Basically that thing in your house that lets you see the teleports before you go to the teleport, which is why going past these teleports is very scary. I know he's always looking at them, but even if he's not here, he can see me, but we need to buy some raw meat. Beef, raw chicken, raw rat meat, and raw bear meat. We're gaming. And just after I finished buying all my meat, a level 4 logs in. Interesting. Teleporting into Falador. We're alive. Oh my god, bro. I was so slow with that one. I was so slow. I didn't even re- bro, I was- Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna drag over my screen what I was looking at. I was banging out some Drake. I don't know if I'm gonna get copyright for this. And that level 32 with a Debo could have popped me. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm trying to think how I can safely get the Taverly. Teleporting to Falador and going through that way isn't going to work. Somehow they're going to figure out I'm going that way because that level 32 just did. So what I'm thinking about is I'm going to home teleport to Lumbridge. I'm going to use this glider here to White Wolf Mountain. And then, oh, I just went to White Knight's Castle. That's not a good map. And then I can run east and then I can go start a Druidic Ritual like that. So I won't be going past Taverly Dungeon. I think this might work. Okay, running out from Lumbridge, I'm going to pray Mage, because I can also get one hit by Volatile Nightmare Stars, which is a scary thing to think about. But so far, so... Okay, glidering to White Wolf Mountain. I'm pretty sure these wolves can kill me, so I'm going to be using some prayer here. Okay, the plan worked. We can start Druidic Ritual. Okay, we got attacked around this spot last time, so we need to be careful. I'm really scared that someone's just going to be waiting down the ladder and one hit me, but now we're chilling. Okay, if that doesn't happen, we're good. I think we're good for this part now. Okay, and that is Judic Ritual done. Nice. Just gonna buy some Herblore supplies as I will need them eventually. There's a guy exactly my level just standing here waiting for me to step out. Okay, we have four Glams from earlier, but that's obviously not gonna be enough to get ourselves to 10 Herblore for Dig Site, so we are gonna have to do Jungle Potion, which should hopefully get us there. I don't really know. Alright, we got to four, almost five Herblore. Just used a lot of cash going to Brimhaven for this quest. Okay, I haven't seen a soul while coming here, so I think we should be do good doing this quest. Let's start Jungle Potion. Incredibly slow with the teleport once again. Luckily that guy was out of my combat range and I panic teleports to Varrock. There was someone else there who's outside of my combat range. That could have gone very bad and I'm gonna have to blame it on Kendrick Lamar. Oh my god, dude. Fucking hell, that was scary. Okay, considering I last logged out at Camelot, instead of teleporting to Lumbridge and risk getting scouted there, I'm just- Oh, 
Okay, I've just got scouted here. Awesome. Kind of scared, not gonna lie. Okay, and that is jungle potion done. Did it get us ten, nine herb lore? I'm seven herb lore off. Okay, maybe we can figure this out. Okay, I have three Marientals in the bank. Surely this gets me to ten herb lore, right? Okay, we're at ten herb lore. We can do the dick side. And the level three is locked in. Level 64. Okay, we're chilling, but that was scary. Did he teleport out? He went into a Easter egg or something. So I've been informed that PvP hardcore Ironmans like myself have actually been scouted by people tracking our XP to see what we're doing and what we're doing next. So I've just got 10 herb lore, people can see that. They're gonna assume I'm gonna go do dig site. So what I'm actually gonna do now is do this history quiz, which is gonna give me nine hunter and nine slayer. I need to do this eventually anyway, and then I'm gonna re-log out, and then maybe that will throw people off the trail and think I'm doing something else, and then I can go do dig site. Nine hunter, nine slayer, and this should throw the PKers off the scent, hopefully. Oh my god, what? What just happened? Dude, I literally just did this museum place, and this guy is here with a DFS killing some guy. He can hit me, but I don't know if he can hit a 41, but I'm pretty sure Prey Mage stops me from getting hit, right? Okay, don't really think my master plan worked out as I thought, because a guy with a DFS has seen me do it. I don't know what he was doing, to be fair, but I think I'm just gonna risk it, to be honest, and we're gonna carry on. I literally just hopped out to a different world, and I find a level 20 hardcore I'm at who goes, I'm gonna put you down, brother, enjoy it while it lasts. And I am logging off for the day. Bye. I lied, let's do this. Okay, and that is the dig site done, getting us more mining and herb lore XP. Didn't run into any problems, so I think Wiz Khalifa may be the solution to our questing needs. <gasps> you guys saw that, didn't you? I think that was solo mission. He always sends me clips of him specking people out on the Volatile Nightmare Staff account. Alright, I'm 99% sure that's solo mission because he's always sending me clips on him on a Volatile Nightmare Staff pure specking people out on PvP worlds trying to get me. I don't know if I can show the clips or not, but I can tell you that it's him because that's public information, but I'm very scared now and I don't know what to do. So this solo mission guy who has a PvP hardcore Iron Man of his own who died for his 250 mil bounty already sends me a message, congrats on dig site quest. You know, I'm not gonna lie, gets me a little bit spooked. Now I want to go do the Lost Tribe and I need a candle for that. Go to Camelot, go to Catherby, buy a candle. And he messages me, I hope that candle you bought smells nice. I'm scared. Okay, I just logged back in. There's a level 3 here. I'm just gonna pray mage because we have to get this done. I need to do Lost Tribe. Bro, level 46. Like, how do they do it? Some guy called Soup's Monitor. I swear, and he chucked the TB at me, bro. I literally logged on for barely half a second to start the quest and this guy finds me. Welcome back to TV4 Worlds, Vitter. Ah. I literally logged on for two seconds to start Lost Tribe, dude. It's Soup's Monitor, aka The Brother, which means I have finally ran into Sea Engineer. Hello, Mr. Sea Engineer. I'll be seeing you soon, buddy. I'm gonna just try and sound intimidating with that, but honestly, I have no plan. I'm logging out of here, bro. I'll see you guys in three weeks. Peace. Okay, the only way I can think of doing parts of this quest without constantly being found is by doing some of the quests that I can do in the Lumbridge area, like moving around and shit, in a free-to-play world and only hop into the play-to-play -play world for the actual part of the quest. If someone's waiting for me here, though, I can just get one hit if they figure out this is what I'm doing. So it is a little bit risky, but I'm hoping it might work. That is the Lost Tribe done. I had no idea it just spawned me there, ready to get attacked by anyone. I probably shouldn't just be running out like this praying mage, but we're fine. Okay, I want to get the range training started, but I only have 2k cash, which isn't enough to do anything. So I'm going to head back to the pyramid, which is extremely risky since I was there last episode. And if I get hit there, I'm pretty much dead. But we're going to go do it anyway. We need some GP. Damn it, bro. There's a level 18 scout here. Fuck. I'm going to just do it, dude. I have to. Okay, I really need to go for a poo, and I'm out of water skins. So we're going to stay with 40k. That should be enough for, uh, for now. We're just going to home tell you out of here. Okay, so before the range training could start, I need to do two risky things, or maybe three. I need to go buy the bone crossbow, because I didn't do that earlier. And I need to go to Mage Bank to stock up on Law Runes, because I've only got six of them. And then I need to go buy range stuff to train to 28 range, so I can actually use the bone crossbow. Um, I'm already in Lumbridge, so let's do that first. Actually, I need food. I have three jugs of wine, so that's the first thing we need to do. Sorry. Okay, we bought 3.75k bone bolts for now. The cash deck's at 25k. This should be enough for now. We're not even 28 range yet, so we need to go do that. Oak shortbow, willow shortbow, and we're just gonna buy like, I don't know, a lot of bronze arrows. Okay, I'm not sure how much XP like 1.2k arrows will be, but hopefully it's enough to get us to 28 range. Not only can I get hit by level 111 right now, I can also get hit by level 3. This shit is scary. Alright, we're at 15.6k cash and 35 law runes, that'll have to do for now. 
I need a range training spot for a while on one range, and I found this place which has two men upstairs, and I'm literally just going to kill these men with my bow and order to trade my range. They do drop some herbs here and there, so hopefully it can get us with nice herbs. First easy clue, I'm not even going to show what it is because I may want to do it, and I don't want you guys to know where it is. So I actually could have got loads of progress done and got myself in a much safer position before uploading my first episode so that no one would have been hunting me, but I decided to try and keep it as authentic as possible, sort of like how Sea Engineer did his series. So every time you see a new video, that is all the progress I've made so far. I haven't done more training and have it saved for a future video or anything like that. This also means it'll be easier to track the progress I've made so far and it'll be a lot easier for me to die. You guys showed insane support on the first episode with over 4,000 likes and it would mean the world to me if we get something similar for this video. So please drop a like if you are enjoying so far and consider subscribing so you don't miss the next episode. You're never going to know when I die if you don't. What's the difference between an easy clue scroll and a beginner clue scroll? Okay, these are all the herbs I got from one inventory of men and I'm at 15 range. This is very This is the scary part, running back to the bank with 11 HP, no food. 20 range. Yeah, another inventory done. We're currently at what? 22, almost 23 range. We're still stacking up the herbs. Another inventory done. We're at 26 range. We have finally unlocked the Bone Crossbow, and I know that considering my PVM ability, this may come as a shock to you guys, but I will be attempting this fire cape with the same crossbow I'm wearing right now. Obviously, not at 28 range. It may not seem like I got a lot done in this episode, but the two main things I needed before the fight caves were a Bone Crossbow and Prayer Pots, and just from training a little bit of range, I've already got myself 14 Rhino Weeds. I don't want to say too much about the future plans yet, as I'm getting hunted quite a bit if you've watched this video, but the next video should have us in a great position to attempt the fight caves. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And once again, comment down below any ideas or suggestions you have for me going forward. As for a bounty for killing this account, let me try and get the fire cake first. Then we'll see what the future holds.